If you find it difficult for whatever reason to use Adobe Illustrator for your graphic designs, don't worry because I've got five different solutions as to why you may be finding it difficult to use Illustrator for your workflow. Now the first possible reason that you might be finding it difficult to use Illustrator is that you're using the pen tool too often. Now the pen tool is a really good tool for certain situations, but I think most designers overcomplicate it and overuse it. When you want to design specific shapes or designs, it is actually really useful just to use geometric shapes. So for example here I could generate a circle by pressing L on my keyboard and then generating a square by pressing M directly from the center outward across the circle. Now that I've got these two shapes on my artboard, I can select both of the shapes and then open up the Pathfinder window. Now if I use the Unite function in the Pathfinder window, I've made this shape on the right as you can see here. I can also use the exclude function which would generate the kind of quarter of a pie section of the shape as you can see in the middle. But we can also use the shape builder tool here and by holding down the alt option key I can minus away some of the shapes. So as you can see it's very quick and very useful to use pre-generated shapes to make designs in Adobe Illustrator. If possible don't use the pen tool too much on your graphic designs. Now the second reason as to why you might be finding it difficult to use Adobe Illustrator is that you're not using the outline mode. You can access the outline mode by pressing command or control Y on your keyboard. The outline mode is amazing because you can see just the vector paths of shapes and this is like a blueprint of your graphic design work. You can perfectly see where shapes align and join together and this just helps you to keep things really organized and really precise. You can still perform any function that you want to do whilst you're still in outline mode. So for example, I can use the Pathfinder options here. And then just press Command or Control Y to revert back. Sometimes a design is too complicated to the eyes and there's just too much going on. I actually use outline mode a lot when I'm logo designing because it's really precise and you can really hone in on specific parts of your design which you cannot see with the shapes being as they are originally. Now the third reason as to why you might be finding Illustrator a bit difficult to use is that you're neglecting the layers panel. I know that many of you will be accustomed to the layers panel in Photoshop and you might think well it's not the same Illustrator. Let me tell you right now that the Layers panel in Illustrator is amazing for organizing your work and keeping things really, really neat. So for starters, I can unlock and unlock specific layers just by clicking the lock icon. This by itself is a really handy feature to have, but there is actually a lot more that you can do with the Layers panel. If you label all of your layers with specific names, you can quickly jump to that specific part of the design and then edit it as you see fit. This really does speed up your workflow and it's just professional and neat to keep everything in order like this. You can also rearrange the order of your layers just by clicking and dragging them as well. And sometimes when we're working on designs we accidentally select layers that are really large and get in the way. So working in the layers window we can just lock or unlock a layer with ease like I'm doing here. So yeah, don't be afraid to label and organize your layers and always keep it open somewhere on your graphic design workflow. Now the fourth reason why you might be finding it difficult to work in Adobe Illustrator is that you don't zoom in far enough. Let's say that I want to work on the pink light on the edge of the laptop. You should not be afraid to zoom in as far as you can for that relevant part of the design to work on it. It's way better than being zoomed too far out and you can't see the design properly. But one bonus feature is that you can set up a full screen view of your work to revert back to. 
Now to do that, come up to view and then click new view. You can save the current view of your design here, so you can just revert back to it later. So for example, I can zoom into uh, say the top right of the screen. Let's say I'm working on this part of the area of the design. I can just quickly check my progress by zooming right back out to the full screen view by just clicking in the top drop down menu. But the key point here is that don't be afraid to zoom into your designs because you can make the right adjustments and the right edits to your designs when you can see it properly on your screen. Now the last reason why you might be finding it difficult to use Adobe Illustrator is that you're not used to the keyboard shortcuts. So firstly, let's go back to zooming in and zooming out. Just press Command or Control, Plus and Minus on your keyboard and you'll zoom in and out of your design like so. Also, something complementary to this shortcut is holding down the spacebar and then clicking and dragging to move around. This is a real lifesaver and I always use this shortcut every single day on my designs. If I didn't have it, I really don't know what I would be able to do because using the left and right arrows on the actual desktop itself is really annoying to use. So I'm really thankful for the spacebar shortcut. Also, of course, there's Command C to copy something and then Command V to paste a duplicate. But also we can press Command F to place a duplicate right over the top of the original position. And then of course, we've got the shortcuts for the selection tools, which is A for the direct selection tool and then V for the selection tool. Then you can press P for the pen tool and also the shift X to change the stroke over to a fill. And then when you want to select off of the pen tool path and just press V for the selection tool. So yeah, just look up the most basic and common Illustrator shortcuts and try to get them imprinted on your memory because they do save time and they will boost your workflow too. Practice does make perfect, so just get used to the shortcuts and everything else that I've mentioned today. If you want to see more Adobe Illustrator content from me here at Satori Graphics, go ahead and subscribe for our weekly graphic design content. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.